participants who have been waiting patiently for BPNG to teach us more and make our brains work harder and digest it. So let's invite BPNG once again. And I can also ask you, please tell us where did we go wrong? Where did Nehaji go wrong with her PowerPoint? Okay, that's fine. So I will just take a minute or two to explain that and then talk about the main topic for today. Look, everybody, I just remind you something I'd said a few weeks ago about Zoom. Zoom is designed for, what shall I say, senior director meetings. Imagine that Nehaji was the chief executive officer of, I don't know which company to say, Mercedes-Benz in Germany. Panna is the chief, chief ex executive officer of Mercedes Benz in Austria, and I am, <laughs> and I am a similar position in the UK or something like that. Suppose we were then having a Zoom meeting, but we don't want background noises to interrupt our very important international directors' meeting. For example, if an ambulance should go past you, Dina, Dina, with its siren, if the a coffee percolator is going, or perhaps in a different time zone, the cleaners are in with their hoover and cleaning the carpet. We don't want those noises to interrupt the important international directors meeting. So Zoom has got what's called artificial intelligence software inside it, which is designed to listen out for human voice now, human voice is within certain decibels, as they call it, okay? It's a certain frequency. That's where the human voice is. Anything that's outside of that range, such as a, a ambulance siren, such as a coffee machine going, or something like that, it is then able to sample the sound and cut it out. Only allow human sound to go through. Why? Oh, because as a senior director, Panna, is wants to speak, and it's a human sound. Similarly, Nehaji, another senior director, similarly me. So it'll allow our sound to go through for us to have a meeting, but anything outside of the human sound range, it'll cut it out. If you, if you don't want it to do that, then there is a little signal called original sound for musicians, and you have to click on it and say on. I noticed that in the screen that I was looking at, the original sound for, for musicians was actually off. And because it was off, that is why, unfortunately, Zoom decided not to allow the beautiful music of that presentation to go through. It said, oh, this is uh, an ambulance siren, or oh, this is a coffee machine going us. And so it doesn't know. And that's why it's important to say original sound for musicians on. Now, I said something else to you, Panna, and you stopped me and said, please repeat it when everybody is together. Sometimes you don't have that, that notification on your screen. And many of my students have complained, Pepin, you're asking us to click on it, to, but if we, don't, we don't, don't have a notification. We don't know where to click. Okay, should that happen, then here's what you do. Now, let me see if I can share a screen, then I can teach it properly. Just a minute, everybody. Right, now I'm going to share my own screen. I don't know how this will go. So you tell me if this is working or not. Okay, here we go. Okay. Panna, can I ask you, can you see my Zoom screen? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I will click on a particular arrow. Now I'm gonna ask you, on your screen, does it say select a microphone or does it not say that? No, it doesn't, okay. In that case, I'm going to stop the share and do it in a different way. Just a moment, please. I thought it might share it, then I can do it dynamically and show you, but it doesn't, so that's fine. Listen, everybody, all of us have a little sign at the bottom left, usually, and it says unmute, unmute. And what that sign means when you click it, 
it switches on your your microphone, allows you to speak. So at the moment, my microphone is unmuted. All of your microphones are muted. So now next to that unmute sign, there's a tiny little arrow. It's like a V symbol, like that, like a V symbol, okay? If you click on the V symbol, which I'm doing, but I can't show it to you. I tried to share it, but I couldn't. It says, select a microphone, select a speaker, this, this, this. And right at the bottom, it says audio settings. And if you select audio settings, that is where you can select original sound for musicians on. Okay? So that's where it's hidden in that little settings thing, which you can access by clicking on the up arrow. So just to summarize, the reason that we couldn't hear the beautiful music in that presentation is because Zoom interfered and it deliberately deleted it. And the reason it deleted it, it thought, hang on a second, this is just background noise. I'm not gonna allow it through. And the way to fix it is to select original sound from musician on. Did that make sense to you, Panna? Yes. It yeah, did. I hope it made sense to everybody as well. Panna, is it okay if I go on to talk about the main topic for today? Okay, right. I'd like to start by saying, Happy New Year. <laughs> now, the nice thing about Christmas and New Year is that Happy we New Year to you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, the nice thing about Christmas and New Year is we all have such a lovely time. The second nice thing is we send such nice messages to each other and everybody wants to say, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. And they want to send like uh, a little photo which says, Happy 2024 or something like that. Or they want to send a little video. And when you click on the video, it's something like Santa is going around and, and somebody's dancing and all kinds of videos. Isn't that nice? Yes, it is. But you knew there was a but coming, but didn't you? <laughs> but those photos and videos, lovely as they are, take up a lot of memory in your smartphone. Now, if you allow it to continue, 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 until all the memory is exhausted, then unfortunately, WhatsApp can no longer work. When you run out of memory, WhatsApp crashes, because that means it stops working. And unfortunately, the only way out of this is to delete some of the photos and videos. Go ahead, you have a question, Panna? No, I don't have a question. I just like to remind people, this yes. is why we stopped um, only admins to send the messages because all these messages bombarding our groups and that's when it's saying our phone will cry saying yeah. there's no space left yes. <laughs> there is no space left delete yes. some, delete some so this is why we had done admins only so yeah, yeah. perfectly understandable totally understandable okay now, I want to say something else. Now, having only admins sending out messages is one way to control it. It's a very good way to control it. But Panna, I want you to imagine now that there's a group of beautiful people. They like to say hello to each other. They like to send photos and videos every day. Well, I have many such groups of nine such groups of people. Okay. Yeah. And then you can't say to them, sorry, but only one person is allowed because the whole idea is to allow everybody to do it. Now I want to just go in at, at a tangent for two minutes. Listen to me for two minutes. It'll make you laugh. I want you to imagine that, you know, Panna is a very hospitable lady and she loves cooking. So she says to all of us, come over to my house for a nice dinner, three course meal. Okay, so we all go to Panna's house and we enjoy a really nice meal. At the end of the meal, what do we do? We take all of our cutlery and dirty dishes and dirty glasses and whatever. We put it next to her kitchen sink on the worktop. Then we all go away. She says, oh, that was such a nice event. I'll cook for you again, come the next day. 
We go the next day, we have a lovely meal. What do we do with all the dirty dishes? We put it on the other side of, of the worktop. That carries on for seven or eight days. Guess what's happened? Panna's kitchen is full of dirty dishes. Yeah, <laughs> and dirty cutlery. And there's no space now to sit anywhere. There's no space to cooking, nothing. No what help you... from the dish, no help from the others. I don't have a dishwasher either. So <laughs> human dishwashers I need. <laughs> <laughs> so look what what are we going to do now i wonder i tell you what we'll do one now we'll go and buy a new house you go and spend a million pounds and buy a new house so we can go and rubbish that kitchen no of course we would never do that none of us are, are that silly none of us do that what we actually do at the end of the meal is we'll wash our dishes and our cutlery and glasses and everything yeah either we do it by hand or we use a dishwasher but we're not going to just to let it pile up and pile up and pile up and pile up so that after a week, there is no space left. Well, that requires discipline, doesn't it? It requires discipline at the end of the meal that all the dishes have to be washed. Okay, here's what I say to all of my group. I say, I'll, I'll create a nice WhatsApp group. You're allowed to send each other nice messages, such as photos and videos and whatever, but at the end of the day, you then read everything, all the photos and videos that you received, then you delete them. And what you do, somebody sends you a really lovely photo, you reply to them and, they say, and you say, thank you for sharing this with me. Thank, uh, 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 you, know, um, thank you for, for being such a good friend. And then you delete it. It's even more important with videos. And there's so many videos, beautiful videos available on WhatsApp that everybody likes to forward to each other. Well, one video is the same as a hundred photos. So if you get one video, no, sometimes more, maybe a thousand photos, sometimes 10,000 photos, just one video. So by receiving one video, it's equivalent to having received 10,000 photos, you see? because every frame takes up space. So it's very important that when you receive videos, watch it, enjoy it, acknowledge, say thank you to the person that sent it to you, and then delete it. In other words, wash your dishes, okay? If you don't do that, then all of the videos and things will pile up and pile up and pile up in your phone. And just like Panna's house, which is now too messy to be, to be able to use the kitchen anymore, then she had to go and buy a brand new house for a million pounds. No, so buy more dishes. <laughs> <laughs> but you haven't got space in the kitchen anymore, you see. So, you know, you have to buy a new house, you know, which is ridiculous. So that's why I say, please be disciplined. And each day, little bit, little bit, little bit, keep, keep, your, keep your phone memory clean. However, I have the following question. At Christmas or Diwali, sometimes you can receive like hundreds. I'm not joking. I belong to 19 WhatsApp groups and all my students want to say happy Diwali or happy new year to me. I get hundreds of these messages, too many for me to check each and every single one and to delete them. So my question for this lesson is this. What if you've got lots of photos and videos that have been sent to you, haven't deleted them, is taking up huge amounts of memory, what are you supposed to do? That's my question, okay? Now I'd like to answer it. But the way I want to answer it is as follows. I'm going to go into my own WhatsApp and one of the groups that I have many students inside it, you'll see there's over 40 or 45 messages I haven't read. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna show you the kind of thing it is, First, I'll show you how to delete it, but then I'll, I'll explain I'm overwhelmed. What am I going to do? So this is like one now walks into a house and notices her kitchen has got like 300 unwashed dishes or 400 glasses. You know, what's she going to do now? A house is impossible for her to manage all of it. So let, let's do a little bit of sharing. Okay. Now, in a second, I'm going to share something from my screen. Your own screen will go a bit funny for a few seconds. Don't worry about it. It's perfectly normal. And then and then we'll 
will uh, I'll take over at that stage. So here's what I'm going to do so you can learn. I have my smartphone. Here it is. And I have deliberately log, uh, connected to Zoom using my smartphone. So now I will select the share. So when I say share, it says, what do you want to share? Here's a bunch of options. And I say, I want to share the screen, please. Now, I'm about to press the button, start now. So your, your own screen will go a bit funny, but please don't worry about anything. Okay, here we go. All right, so your screen has gone funny. And what you're looking at, ladies and gentlemen and friends, you're actually looking at my smartphone. Now, it turns out that my smartphone is what's called an Android phone. Android. What does that mean? Okay. Well, companies like Samsung, and my smartphone is, is manufactured by Samsung. So companies like Samsung, they have an operating system called Android. Many other companies also use Android. However, Apple, they manufacture the iPhone. They do not use uh, Android. They use iOS, okay? So what I'm explaining to you is that this is a Samsung phone which uses Android. And the, and the instructions on Android are very slightly different from the instructions on iOS. So please be aware, these are Android instructions. So let's go into my WhatsApp, shall we? Can you see I've got 304 unread messages? <laughs> Fun, uh, lots and lots and lots of dirty dishes sitting in, in my kitchen, okay? 304 unread messages. So I, I press my finger on it, and it goes there. And this is the message from Panna that I received inviting me to this meeting, which is fine. Now let's do this. Let's go down a bit. Okay. Now look, everybody. I sent the, this message to everybody. I, I sent it to about 200 or 250 people, okay? And it, it was sent... Uh, a couple of weeks, uh, a week and a half ago. It just said, Merry Christmas to everybody and hope you enjoy this and hope you enjoy that. And what I then did, I sent lots and lots and lots of videos, huge amount of data, but I did not send the videos themselves. I took the videos and I uploaded it to YouTube. Upload, what does that mean? YouTube, what does that mean? Okay, so YouTube is the world's best website for collection of videos. So I took all my videos that I wanted to share with my friends. I uploaded them. I, I sent them to YouTube. Then I created a YouTube playlist. Then I, I sent a link, only a link, to, to all my friends. Because I sent only a link, it does not take up much storage space at all. So this message is an example of good practice where you don't send the original videos, you send a link to those videos. When I then use my finger and tap on the link, here's what happens, watch. So I've just tapped on the link, okay? And it's doing it on my phone and I'm waiting for Zoom to catch up. Oh no, it's not gonna do it. Okay, on my phone, ladies and gentlemen, I'm actually in a, oh, okay, let's come out. Okay, ah, yes, it, it has done it. There you are, you see? It's gone into YouTube. And now I have to, hang on, let's let's do this again, just a minute. It's just a bit slow, Panna. It does work, but it's a bit slow, okay? So I have to do it again, but I have to be a little bit more patient. I have to wait for Zoom. Uh, remember everybody, Zoom is taking this information from my phone all the way to the United States and then out again. So I'm gonna press my finger again. Here we go. I've just pressed it on my um, screen. Here you go, there you go, you can see it now. But look, these are individual videos. This one is all of my students at the Harold Leisure Center singing, Partridge in a pear tree. That, that's uh, obviously it's 12 days of Christmas. And then the next, um, videos underneath it 
And this is all my friends at the Harrow International Christian Center singing and a partridge in a pear tree. Next one, see these are totally separate videos. This is all my friends at the Preston Community Library singing it. Next one, this is all my friends doing exercises and so on at Harrow Les Center with Jay Kumar. So these are different videos. And the final one, I just wait for it to do just a little bit of dancing so you can see there was some dancing there. See, they're all dancing around. Oh, okay. Okay, now you can gently and slowly see it on your um, Zoom. And the last one was a the Kahoot uh, game that I played for everybody for Christmas party on the 21st of December, okay? So this is an example of good practice where um, a person is not sending the original videos, but sending a link to those videos. And if that's what people are sending to you, you don't have to delete it. It's fine. However, that's not the only thing that gets sent. So now let's have a look at another example. Now, you may be able to see the example I'm trying for you to look at is something called ERPA IT Class Friends. ERPA IT Class Friends, okay? And it's somewhere here. And you can see there are 53 unwashed dishes, if you know what I'm saying. 53 messages that I haven't checked. And that's all in a single day. Because I get a lot of messages coming in. If I go inside it, and I've just told it, look, somebody's saying Happy New Year with a nice photo with it. Look, somebody else is saying Happy New Year. Somebody else is sending a photo. Somebody else is sending this. Somebody else is sending this. And very soon, you'll see videos. Look, there's an example of Carmen Rose Blake sending me a video of the train of life. And, and so on. So loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads that I get on a daily basis. And I belong to nine different WhatsApp groups. They're all like this. Just too many. Would you agree, Panna? That's too many, isn't it? Now, listen, you said wash your, or I said wash your dishes. I know, but I didn't, you know, I, I'm, I've walked into a house with over 300 dirty dishes. Now, what am I going to do? So I can't wash every dish one by one by one by one. I'll be there for hours if I try to do that. So what am I going to do? And now I'm going to show you a trick. So everybody, and Panna, can I just check? You can also see this. Can you see just my standard WhatsApp screen now? Okay. So I'm not going to go into any one particular group. What I'm going to do, there are three dots on the top right. And I'll say it slowly before I press them. The dots are near a magnifying glass and near a camera somewhere at the top right of the screen. Okay. But now, can you see the three dots? Yes. Yep. Okay. I'm now going to press on the three dots. Here we go. I'm just waiting for Zoom to catch up now. Please. <laughs> just a little bit slow. Okay. There you go. Can you see how it says new group, new broadcast, link devices, start messages and settings? You should go into settings. OK, so I will do that. But please be patient. It, oh, no, I thought it might take half a minute for it to go. But it has gone straight in. Notice how in 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 the settings, there's various options. There is account, privacy, avatar, chats, notification. It's the next one, storage and data, storage and data. That's what we want, okay? So I'll press on it. There we go. Now, can you see, Panna, that um, under storage and data, my WhatsApp at the moment is taking up a huge 25.5 gigabytes. How much is that? Well, that's 25 thousand megabytes that's a lot it's a lot of information now i go further down oh sorry i click where it says manage storage okay and there's 25.5 gig 
That's 25,000 dishes that I haven't washed. Okay? That's a, that's a huge number of dishes, dirty dishes in my house. 25,000 per now. That's ridiculous, right? Okay. So press my finger on Manet Storage, and it says, okay, now listen, Pippin, you belong to many, many, many different groups, and they've all sent you various amounts of data. For example, a group that I belong to called Family, 2.7 gigabytes. My wife, Shushtatani, 2.5 gigabytes. Upper IT class friends, the one that we just looked at, lots of two point something gigabytes. Okay. Now what it's doing is saying, I've done an analysis for you. And of the roughly, uh, of the amount of space, 26 gigabytes is used space and only three gigabytes is left as free space. So that's not very good on my phone. Then notice it says, I will show you the, the different videos and things that people have sent you. But you know what? I'm going to show you them in size order. Now, Panna, can I check that you can see what I can see? Can you see there are there is a video which is 7878 megabytes in size? Can you see it? And next to it is another video which is 64 megabytes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then there's another 560. <laughs> can you now understand why? My phone is exhausted and I've got so many dirty dishes. Also then it says, these are the messages which are forwarded many times that people sent you. But next underneath that is all messages which are larger than, than five megabytes. Now my task is to go through these one by one, usually starting with the largest one. I then press my finger on the largest one I play it a little bit, watch it, and then I delete it, okay? So I'm going to play the 78 megabyte video. You won't be able to hear the sound. It'll take a little while because a lot of data going to the United States and coming back. You'll be able to see it, okay? So I press it. I've just pressed my finger on it and look how it's, can you see from now what's going on? It's showing me all the different videos Yes. which are the forwarded many times type of videos. And there they all are, taking up lots and lots and lots of memory of my phone. And it shows it to you in size order. The first one is 78 megabytes. The next one is 64 megabytes, then 62 megabytes, 49 megabytes, 45 megabytes, and so on and so forth. What I'm supposed to do is to view these and then make a decision whether, I'm, whether I want to keep it or whether I want to delete it. Oh, please, Panna, will you notice something? Can you see there are three videos, each one 33 megabytes? Can you see them? And they look. Repeat. They are the repeats, aren't they? Yes, it's the same one that yeah. different people have sent me. So yeah. I'm storing it three times, Panna, the same video three times. Now, that's a complete waste of storage. I think everybody will agree. So what I'll do, I'll play that video and let's see what it's about. Okay, here we go. You won't be able to hear the sound, so I'm sorry about that. Here we go. So I've just, here we go. And it's a lovely lady that's explaining about diabetes, but from a historical point of view, and she's going back thousands of years and then is, is giving her presentation, okay? So suppose I looked at that and I decided I do not want to keep it any longer. Okay, by the way, it's a beautiful presentation. I have no doubt about that, which is why it's forwarded many times. But I then put my finger on it in the usual way. Can you see a little dustbin sign coming up for now at the very top? It only stays for five seconds, okay? But there we are. There's the dustbin sign at the top, and it'll vanish again. They could vanish. I press it again. There's the dust. Obviously, all I have to do is press my finger on the dustbin sign, which means please delete this video, okay? It then says, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Are you sure, are you sure, are you sure? Do you want to delete this item? And then I, I have to say, if there are any copies of it, delete them as well. So I can click on all the copies and both it'll go, okay? So I say like that. 
Just a moment. Can you see? I Panna, have I ticked delete any copies? Yep. Okay, you saw that. And then I press the delete button. Here we go. And it it's just deleted them all. Then it takes me to the next video. And the next video happens to be my students at the Harrow International Christian Center. And do I want to keep it on or not, not keep it and so on? I'll now come out of this. Okay. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Let me go back into WhatsApp. I didn't mean to come out like that. I meant to come out like that. Can you see lots of videos where you are, please, Panna? Yes, you can. Yep. So what I'm saying is that when you, I don't know, you're sitting on a train going somewhere or you're sitting on a bus or, or you're just watching a bit of TV or something, then you can have your smartphone in your hand Go into WhatsApp, press the three dots, go into settings, and from settings, select storage and data. And then from storage and data, it'll give you this information. Then you can go through these one by one by one by one and delete them. Now, Panna, what if I'm so lazy that I don't want to go through each and every one by one by one by one? What if I want to just delete all of them straight away? Then you select all. Can you see it, Panna? Yeah? yeah. Can you see? Yeah? Now, yeah. I'll, so I'll select it just to show, but I don't really want to delete all of them. So I'll just press my finger like that. And now every single video is selected for me. Can you see a little dustbin sign just above? Yeah. Yep. So all I would do, I'm not going to do it, but I would just press my finger on the dustbin sign and guess what? Boom! Uh, 559 videos will be deleted in an instant. Okay? So that's equivalent of saying 559 dishes will be washed just like that within a few seconds. Okay? So I will stop doing that. Let me come out now altogether. I'll also stop sharing. And then I will take any questions that people have. And then we'll call it a day. Hold on a second, everybody. So, Here we are. I'm just going to go into my Zoom and then I will stop the sharing and then take some questions, okay? Bipinji, uh, before you... Oh, oh sorry, I, I went too far. Please ask your question nevertheless. I, I was about to say, before you come out of the sharing, I wanted you to actually show everybody two screens how to do... Uh, measure them both of them same sizes on sharing because people yesterday well, somebody actually mentioned that uh, they okay. don't know how to uh, when they sh when somebody is sharing the screen how to manage two same size um pictures. okay shall i shall i share again so you can do that please exercise hang on a second so i'll share my screen and I'm sharing the screen of my um, of my smartphone, okay? Yeah. So this is Which... where you show um, where the um, white bar is and how you can move it. You, do you want to do it? They weren't able to see it. I, I've already, that's how I watch my um, laptop. It's set up that way. Okay, okay. On now. I'm going to show you a little trick. Okay. Would you look at your keyboard and can you see a little Windows key? It's got four windows on it. So somewhere near the space bar, usually on the left of the space bar, and usually there's an ALT button. Alt. Mm. Then there is a Windows key, which has got four little squares yeah, on it. Command. Is that the command? Now, just a minute. You can call it a command key. I don't mind. Its actual title is called the Windows button. Okay, and the Windows key. If you hold it down with your with one with your left finger and hold, keep it down, and with your right finger, you you press the left arrow key. You know, there's a left arrow key usually underneath page down and page up. Do that and see what happens. No, it doesn't work on uh, laptops. I'm on a laptop. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
so 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 that is another way of doing multi windows okay all right so if i do that share hang on a second let's do a second share hold on oh okay it's saying this will stop the other screen sharing i can't share multiple windows no but you... what i'm saying is if everybody can see my picture and the um shared um i uh, the phone yes yes i can see your picture and i can besides i can see you my... and i can see yeah so beside my picture or your picture there's a white bar on yes. the left hand side right yes so if you click on it and then yes. move to move towards it, the left see what it will expand is. Yes. So okay. you have two big screens now. Yes. You can see practically whole of me and practically your shared screen. Yes, I can. I can see lots of people here as well. That's what you wanted me to demonstrate. I fully understand. And that's how, ladies and gentlemen, you can see whatever is being shared, plus also see the participants and... At least for those people that have the camera on, you can see their faces moving and yeah. and things like that. Okay, that's fine. Panna, shall I now stop the share and go into Q and A? Is that yes. okay? Yes. Here we go. So I'll go into my Zoom. Just a second. And I'll say stop share. We're all together again. Okay. Right. Obviously, it's 10 minutes to 7 or so. I'll summarize it, and I'll ask you if you have any questions. So, ladies and gentlemen, Christmas is a wonderful time of the year. Diwali is a wonderful time of the year. We all like to say Happy Diwali or Merry Christmas or Happy New Year. We all want to send our photos. We all want to send our videos. We want to be kind to each other. We're excited about this and so on. And when we receive them, we're really happy to receive it. But be careful, because like the dirty dishes, if you, <laughs> if you don't wash them at the end of your meal, it'll all pile up and it can then take up all the space of your phone. And, and if, you, if it takes up all the space of your phone, unfortunately, WhatsApp will no longer work. It will crash. So it is a good habit every day to wash your dishes, if you know what I'm saying. However, if like me, you have like... 529 dishes to wash. Well, you can't go through each one, one by one, but it just take you too long. So then you go into WhatsApp, three dots, settings, storage and data, and then it'll sort it all out for you, and allow you to delete things in a much more controlled way. If you're really, 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 really um, short of time and you don't want to go through each and every one, there's also a select all button. Be careful. It will it will delete all of You can select all and then say delete and boom, everything will be gone. Any questions, anybody, in what I've been trying to teach? Yes, I have a question, Bipin. Bhai. Hello, Hasmuk Bhai. Hello. Go uh, ahead. Hello. hello. Yeah, the procedure you said, right, going into WhatsApp and manage your space and all that, I've got it on the screen now. It says deleted items may still be saved on your device. Okay. So what it's saying is if you, you have to, yes, you're right. Um, how do I explain this? There is a button called delete all the copies. If you yes. say delete all the copies, it'll go forever. It will go. Okay. It will go. No, but this, this message comes even there are no copies. If it's just one copy that I want to delete, still it comes up with deleted items may still be saved on your device. Yes. Okay. So where would it where it, would it be saved? And if the sa that saved item will still take up space. Okay, hold on. Go on, Panna. So this is where you are now. Look for your deleted file. You got to empty your bin as well. 
because it's okay. saving in your bin at the moment when you have deleted everything from the profile or from your gallery you've deleted and it's sitting in the bin so now you've got to empty your bin outside for the uh, for the van to collect your bins to empty your bins so now you have to do that so find your deleted file deleted folder and empty that as well then you have got rid of everything can i can oh. i explain the same thing but using slightly different words for hasmuk i'm saying exactly what panai just said just using different phraseology you see hasmuk bai sometimes human beings make an error and delete something when they didn't mean to delete it so then deliberately what microsoft did on windows 10 is when you delete something it puts it into the recycle bin okay and then okay. it sits in your recycle bin so you don't get the space back because sitting in the recycle bin it's when you empty the recycle bin which is what one now was just saying then it's really gone forever and if you if you ask the question why is microsoft doing this why is it or because there have been instances in the past when somebody has deleted something accidentally and then when they deleted it oh no i regret it i shouldn't have deleted it etc so they put a two step process does that make any sense as or yes, are you confused yes yes no 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 it's it's okay. just i'm thinking of finding that bin in the device now 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 that's your next question which is the correct question it's a supplementary question okay then so how do i empty my bin listen husband but do you mind if i use an analogy it's not a good analogy but i just want to use it so here you are at home you've got a blue bin and a green bin right and here's some rubbish from your from the your kitchen you're going to go and throw it into your green bin or here is some i don't know a cardboard box or something you're going to go and throw it into your your blue bin but if you are wrong to throw that cardboard box away in your blue bin and somebody says oh no you shouldn't have thrown that away you have the ability to go into your blue bin and take it out again but if you ring the council or you wait for the correct day of the week and the dustbin people come along and they empty your bin well it's gone <laughs> That's what we're doing. So the question is, how do you call the dustbin men? How do you then empty your bin is what you're asking. And the answer is, <clears throat> on Windows 10, you have a little symbol. It's called My PC. Yeah. And when you, when you go into My PC, it allows you to go into the recycle bin. On most other people's Windows 10, it's got a separate one called Recycle Bin. Then you don't have to go to My PC to then go to Recycle Bin. You just click on Recycle Bin. And when you click on yeah. Recycle Bin, one way or the other, you either go it the long way or, or whatever, you find yourself in the Recycle Bin. It'll then show you, listen, these things are sitting in your Recycle Bin. In other words, you just opened your, your blue bin and found, oh, look, there's three boxes in there, right? If you then really, really, really want to get rid of it, you select empty recycle bin, empty recycle bin option. And, and it'll say, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? You say, yes, I'm sure. Woof, it's gone forever. And now you've claimed back all the storage. Did that make any sense, Osmuk? It does. It does. It does. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for a lovely question. I'm really proud of your question. Lovely question. Okay, thank you. Yeah, Any okay. Anyone yeah. else? Any other questions? Anybody? They're too shy, Panna. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it. <laughs> okay, if there are no other questions, then perhaps I could just... Would you mind if I just make a, a few remarks, a few announcements, and then, and then we can uh, finish... I just it's, wanted to find out: do you, Is this uh, session being recorded? And yes. uh, okay, thank you. It is right. Uh, and, and the compliments to the lesson. Uh, I think it's really, very, very simplified. And oh, if I had a teacher like this in my class, 
I would get distinctions in my degrees. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your kind words. I'm, I'm very grateful for your kind words. Thank you very much. Okay, Reggie, just a... we, Reggie, we'll have to come to South Africa to yeah. teach your classes. <laughs> is, is he from South Africa? He's from you, South you, Africa. You, you're most welcome. We have a lot of beautiful wildlife here and we have beautiful weather, one of the best in Johannesburg. Thank you. Most welcome. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I need to socialize for another few seconds. So my cousin is also lives in Johannesburg. And uh, my wife and I and my children a few years ago went to Cape Town. We never made it to Johannesburg because of the shortage of time. We're enjoying ourselves too much. But I just loved South Africa. I didn't realize you were from South. That's fantastic. And I agree with you, Panna. Next lesson, we'll be in South from South Africa. <laughs> It'll be so wonderful. Really beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Reggie. Bye. Okay. So I just want to make a quick announcement. I'll just have a... Oh, was there another question from Party Ben? Yeah. Could you repeat that? Because I um the one that how to recycle. go into recycle, counting the recycle, because oh, please, because I'm just I'm stuck. Yes, mm. I, I'm happy to, to hang on. I'm going to try something. Panna, I'm going to try sharing my screen. To, it doesn't always work, but I want to just test. If it does work, then it'll make it easier for people to understand. Just a second. How is it Android for? Yes, but, yeah, so yeah, okay. So that's fine. Okay, just a second, please. I'm going to try. I won't guarantee. Let's see what happens. Hold on. Okay, you've got my Zoom screen. Just want to check with my friend, Panna. Yeah. Can you see my desktop this time around? Can you see my desktop? Yes. Okay. okay. Um, who was it that asked the question? Bharti Ben, I think, asked the question, wasn't it? Okay. Yes. Bharti Ben, what I was saying is this. I was saying to Hasmuk Bai, and I'm assuming you can see this, I'm not sure. Look, it says this PC, and I'm circling my mouse around it. Yes. Okay, but look underneath that, ignore this network. Look what there is. Recycle bin. Can you see it, Panna? Can you see yes. recycle bin? Okay, I'm going to double click on recycle bin. Click, click. Panna, can you tell me if you can see a group of files sitting in there? Absolutely, I can. You can. Okay. Yes. So there's 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 a few things that are deleted. I spoke by. Look, this is my blue bin you're looking at. I threw these boxes away, but the, but the dustbin men haven't come yet. Okay, do you understand what I was saying? Yeah, you understand. Now look, there is a little thing here called empty recycle bin. Can you see it, Panna? Can you see it, Hasmuk Bai? Yes, yes, can see that. There it is. Okay, now watch. I go click, and it says, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these nine items? Yes or no? I say yes, like this. Click, and look, the dustbin men have just come, and they're emptying my blue bin, and in a few seconds from now, Hopefully, it's all gone. And it says, this folder is empty. Can you see it saying, this folder is empty? Can you see that? Yeah. Yes. You see? Okay. So I'll stop the share and I'll check with Bharti Ben if I've answered her question or not. Um, where is she? I can't see Bharti Ben anymore. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I pressed, I pressed sorry. the wrong button. Uh, sorry, Bipin Pai. Sorry. I'm <laughs> Oh, it's no problem. I, I it's no the problem. Wrong. I'm sorry. You have to go through it again. Sorry. Okay, wait, I wait, you. wait. I lost you. Hold on, Bharti Ben, just a minute. I'll, I'll go through it again. I don't mind. Are you telling me that you didn't see my explanation? Are you telling me you didn't see yeah. it? Yes. <laughs> you, you, you cut yourself off from Zoom by mistake. That's okay. right. I yeah. will go through it again gladly. Very sorry. However, Bharti Ben, you need to give me a few. You need to give me a few seconds to delete something. Hang on a second. Just a minute. I won't take too long. I just want to go somewhere and start deleting things. Then I'll have something in my recycle bin. Then uh, I'll be able to show show you the whole thing again, okay? 
I'll gladly do it again. Don't worry. I just need half a minute of your patience. So I go delete something. Okay. All right. Here we go. I've got loads of things here. Now let me go through and I will start deleting a few things. Okay. All right. Here's something that I'm willing to delete. There we are. And I'll I'll say delete, and that's gone into my recycle bin. Okay, right. Party Ben, can you can you hear me? Okay, can you don't have yes. to come off mute. Yes, I can. Yeah, can yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm logged in. Yeah, now, yeah. Now listen to me, Party Ben. I'm yeah. about to share my screen for you. Okay. okay here we go. Get ready. Uh huh. Okay, now I will go into my yeah. so-called desktop. Oh, how but do I do that? Oh, God. I uh, know, sorry, you're trying to do it on your phone, are you? Uh, yes, I am. I can see. Okay, well, just a minute, just a minute. That's not the right... I'm teaching on Windows 10, which oh, is on a laptop oh, or a desktop. Right. And you're, you're saying, wait a minute... What do I do if I'm on a on a on a Android? Is it an Android, Android phone? phone. Android phone, yeah. Just a minute now. You and I are at cross purposes. All so right. I need to start my answer again. All right. I'll stop the oh. share. No, no, no. Don't say sorry. I'm yeah. pleased that you explained the circumstance. Okay. Party Ben, mm -hmm. on an Android phone, yeah. it will delete it straight away. Right. It store it on in the recycled temporary bin so the um the analogy i was explaining earlier on which was imagine i've got some cardboard boxes that are left over from a delivery that i took from amazon amazon yeah. made yeah. three deliveries i've taken the goods out of these boxes i want to throw those boxes away now so i take them to my blue bin and i throw mm -hmm. them one two three now, my wife comes back and says, oh, no, why did you throw the boxes away? I wanted to keep one of them. Yeah. Oh, don't worry, dear, because the dustbin men are going to come in three days from now. The boxes are still in my blue bin. So I open the blue bin. I take one of the boxes out. And then I say, OK, here you are. It, it, it hasn't been deleted altogether. OK, so that was that facility is in Windows 10. Right. OK. But you are not oh, running Windows 10 on a laptop or a desktop. We, we are cross-purpose. Oh. Okay? So your question is, how do I delete things from the recycle bin on an Android smartphone? Yeah. The answer is, there's no need to. It doesn't store it. Oh, okay. So, so in the case of Android, if I go and take those three cardboard boxes and throw them into... Um, the blue bin, it's immediately gone forever. Okay. All right. So, so, so in that case, you and I don't have to go through the procedure for how to delete things from the recycle bin. Okay. But so, so the answer I was giving was actually for, do you understand what I mean by Windows 10? It's an operating yes. system. Yes. Yes, I understand I I mean. So it's got to be so, the computer, not the... On your computer. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So then let me relate this now to my original lesson. My original lesson said, everybody, please wash your dishes daily. Everybody, please go into um, WhatsApp and please delete the photos and videos after you've seen. What I'm now saying to you is when you go ahead and delete those photos and videos from WhatsApp, they're gone. Yeah. Does that answer your question, Bharti Ben? Do you follow me? Do you understand me? Yeah, I do. And another thing, I think in the Androids, uh, I think also you, if you delete it, I found that you still need to do go into recycling bin because all the deleted items on the recycling bin, then you have to go into the recycling and delete that. Okay. Well, that's only if it's turned on. Usually, when it comes from the factory, it's not turned on. 
Oh, so how do I? Okay. Um, can I suggest, Panna, I should take this question away because it can get a little bit involved and difficult. What if, how do I connect with Bhakti Ben? How can I connect with Bhakti Ben separately? Will you give Bhakti Ben my contact details? Yeah. Bhakti Ben. Bhakti Ben, you can pick it up from the group. Bipinji's uh, number. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, so, 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 look, look, look Bhakti Ben. Unless uh, everybody else want to learn about it, then uh, Bipinji can do it next Monday. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. That'd yeah. be better. That'd be better. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Everybody, do that. everybody is very really big. big good because we want to learn, please. Yeah, I think that'd be better. better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. But, but look what's happened, Panna. We now have a subject to talk about for next week. <laughs> <laughs> but without me, without me, you are going to be with Nehaji, not with me. <laughs> Oh, um, we'll, we'll miss you terribly, <laughs> but we'll be fine with Neha, Ji. No yes. problem. I'm no sure problem. you will be. She's just as good as me. She's, in fact, better than me. So <laughs> You're both equally good. You're both equally very good. So, uh, that's that's my session finished. Over to you, Panna. Okay, oh, thank you very so much. Thank you. That was wonderful. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we benefited uh, quite a lot today. How to learn on the uh, PowerPoint sharing screen. So when next you have uh, Dipeshji showing his uh, um, detailed picture, then you can obviously share the screen equally equal sizes your profile as well as Bipinji's sorry Bipinji's profile and his picture together so you will yes. see him being in action and his picture as well so yeah. that was the main thing I wanted to show you because everybody could not understand me just by talking but by going through the session then it helps and also there is quite a lot of more things which you can learn from your phone how to for example i have set up my address full address with my email and my telephone number um, and saved it is as a repeat so i don't have to keep typing it myself so if i save it as a word say my address or just the address it will type up the whole thing for me in the mobiles in whatsapp yeah. so bpng yeah. can teach that next week as well yeah so yeah think on a repeat um things for example merry christmas uh, messages i saved it up so i didn't have to type the whole whole thing which takes at least um 50 seconds so i saved it up and all i did was xmas and the whole thing came up with my family's uh, name and that's it. So I didn't have to retype the whole thing 10 times or 100 times. And like Bipinji um, is going to teach you next week. So all the best. And I shall catch up with you in three months time. So before you go, before you go, can I just say my heartfelt thanks to you, Panna, for yes. inviting me, for hosting this so, so perfectly. And on behalf of all of us, may I wish you a lovely time away in the warmth of India. And do keep in touch with us somehow, maybe a photo here and there, okay? Thank you very much indeed for your help. <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome. I'm not much of a photographer and I don't like to pose, so <laughs> that is um, going to be a no-no. And I don't want my phone to be full with all these photos, so no. I'm okay. not promising anything. But oh. yes, I will try and do whatever I can and um, share it with you all. And I wish you all the very best for the 2024 and I shall catch up with you in April. So. Um, I look forward to um, Easter bunnies, Easter eggs at that time. So let's see what happens anyway. I'll be here looking for the chocolates then. 
all the very best nehaji thank you very much again and bipinji thank you very much so for future details uh, please bipinji keep in touch with nehaji for you i will i will i will thank you very much all take care and have a lovely week ahead take care take bon care bon voyage bye bye